Unit Math 31, I had a question for section 5.1, number 65. And this is where we're given some traits and we're asked to come up with the equation of the parabola. So if I look at this right now, they're telling me it goes through this point, has this shape, vertex has an x coordinate of negative one. So I'm gonna use these in the opposite order given to me. I'm gonna use the vertex fact first, then the three x squared, then I'll, I'll kick back around to it containing neg one negative six. So the general form, or again, not general form, I should actually say this is the vertex form of a parabola is this. A times x minus h squared, let me make sure that looks like a k, kind of didn't look like a k there, um, plus k. All right, so how can I handle this? Well, I, I know I have the shape of 3x squared, and I want to just point out that the vertex for this parabola would have been 0, 0. And if I have been shifted, and I have, I now have instead of an x-coordinate of 0, 0, I have an x-coordinate of 1, right? So I need to move one unit to the left. And if my x-coordinate is 1, this is also my h value. So let me simplify this a little. And I know that f of x is going to be a times x minus, now h is negative 1, squared plus k. So if I manipulate this a little bit, this is x plus 1 squared plus this k. All right, so I've used the vertex information. The next thing I want to do is use the shape information. It tells me I've got the shape of 3x squared, so that's going to tell me my a value. So as I'm simplifying this a little bit more, I have 3 times x plus 1 squared plus k. Right? And I'm getting closer to getting the equation of my parabola. I'm missing a k value. And I just want to mention right now, yes, I'm using the letter K here and I'm using the letter C here. And let me talk just a bit about why. There are two forms of the parabola. There's what I would call standard form, AX squared plus BX plus C. And then there is vertex form, which is A times X minus H squared plus K. So this is one of those cases where math folks have the letter C here and the letter K here, and they really represent the same thing. So I don't know why we have the two letters, but I just want you to see that we're adding some constant. If you want to call it C, great. If you want to call it K, great. But we do have those here. So let me go ahead and just unblock that a little bit. All right, so the last thing I want to do so I can find my K value, I'm actually going to use this negative, or excuse me, I keep saying that. I'm going to use 1, negative 6. So let's plug 1 into the function. And we know that's equal to negative 6, and that's going to allow me to solve for k. Or over here, it's going to allow me to solve for c. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. So I have 12 plus k is equal to negative 6. When I solve for k, I get k is negative 18. So if I substitute that back to the last time I was looking at my equation, I can say that f of x is equal to 3 times x plus 1 squared minus 18. Right? You can see that because I have this plus 1 over here, I have shifted one unit left, and that's what happens when your vertex goes from 0, 0 to negative 1. All right? And I should say negative 1, negative 18, because we also shifted down. But there we go. So there is number 65. If you want to multiply everything out, um, you can get this in what your book calls general form. I probably call it standard form, but same idea. All right, and that's that's it. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.